Interesting short study today. Let me read from the King James Bible. Judges 1.14. And it came to pass when she came to him that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted from off her ass. She got off the ass. And Caleb said unto her, What wilt thou? Now let's look at the New English Bible. 1970. You know, these new Bibles, and take the title of this message. Here's a New English Bible 1970 edition, and I quote, When she came to him, he enticed her to ask her father for a piece of land. As she sat on the ass, she broke wind, and Caleb asked her, What did you mean by that? End of quote. How on earth do you get a woman... Hopping off an ass, a donkey, farting, and then her father says, What did you mean by that? Well, Dad, I had beans last night. What do you think? Onions. All right, we're not done yet. The KJV, King James Bible, the Bible of all Bibles, 1 Kings 18 27. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him. Bad Elijah. And said, cry aloud, for he's a god, small g. Either he's talking, or he's pursuing, or he's on a journey, or preventure he sleepeth and must be awake. That's the King James, the Bible of all Bibles. Now here's the complete Jewish Bible. Around noon, Elihu began ridiculing them. Shout louder. After all, he's a god, small g, isn't he? Maybe he's daydreaming, or he's on the potty. Where did you get potty? All right. The contemporary English version. At noon, Elijah began making fun of them. Pray louder, said he. Baal must be a god, small g. Maybe he's daydreaming, or using the toilet. Let me read the King James again. 1 Kings 18, 27. It came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god, small g. Either he's talking, or he's pursuing, or he's on a, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he's sleeping and must be awakened. The Living Bible. Same verse, 1 Kings 18, 27. About noon time, Elijah began mocking them. You'll have to shout louder than that. He scoffed, to catch the attention of your God, small g. Perhaps he's talking to someone, or he's sitting on the toilet. Somebody's got a fascination with the toilet and farting. The New International Reader's Version. At noon, Elijah began to tease him. Shout louder, he said. I'm sure Baal is a god, small g. Perhaps he's too much to think about. Perhaps he has too much to think about. Or maybe he's gone to the toilet. I guess Baal has to go potty. The Jubilee Bible 2000. And it came to pass at noon, Elijah mocked him and said, Cry aloud, for he's a god, small g. Prevent he's take he is talking, or he has to go to the latrine. God's now in the military, army. Well, tree is an army word. All right, let's do it again. King James Version, Bible of all Bibles, 1 Kings 18, 27. And it came to pass at noon, Elijah mocked him and said, Cry aloud, for, he's a, for he is a God, small g. Either he's talking, or he's pursuing, or he's on a journey, or pre-adventure he sleepeth and must be wakened. The Lexham English Bible, L-E-X-H-A-M. It happened at noon that Elijah mocked him, saying, Call out with a loud voice, for he's a god, small g. Perhaps he's meditating or using the bathroom. Well, we got bathroom, latrine, uh, going to the toilet, going potty. The New American Standard Bible. Woohoo! This is one of the tops. At noon, Elijah ridiculed them and said, 
Call out with a loud voice, since he is a god, small g. Undoubtedly, he's attending to business. Now, I wonder what that attending to business is compared to the other English Bibles. The Tree of Life version. Now, when it was about noon, Elijah mocked him and said, Shout louder! After all, he is a god, small g. Maybe he's in deep in thought, or he's relieving himself. This is the modern Bibles. When the King James Bible says, it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, cry aloud, or he's a God, small g. <coughs> Either he's talking or he's pursuing or in a journey or pre-adventure, he sleepeth and must be awakened. Now remember the New English Bible said, of uh, Judges 1.14, the 1970 edition, when she came to him, he enticed her to ask his father of a piece of land. As she sat on the ass, now the King James Bible says she's lighting off the ass. She's getting off the ass. The English Bible says she broke wind. And Caleb said, her father said, what did you mean by that? And the King James Bible says, what will thou? What do you want? Now the remarkable and this has nothing to do with toilet or farting. I don't know if I can say fart. Too late. I remember my grandmother had the Living Bible. And this is the first time ever my grandmother having a Living Bible. This is the first person I ever got from a modern Bible into the King James Bible. And I've had many men in prison hand me their modern Bible. And went and and, and resources. Uh, uh, I don't I don't know what they call where they put in a order to get a King James Bible, or actually we were able to bring a King James Bible, and they gave me their their polluted Bible, and we gave them a King James Bible. That, that happened many times in my life. And Grandma had the Living Bible, and I prayed and prayed and prayed. I don't remember how the Lord showed me this, but I thank God He did. And we got Grandma a King Jimmy Bible. He says, that's, that's a grandma joke. Grandma got things confused, but she was a lovely woman and loved the Lord. So she finally got a King Jimmy Bible. The Living Bible, 1 Samuel 20, verse 30. You fool, literally, son of a perverse, rebellious woman. Now, this is the footnote. They now have it in a footnote. But my grandma's Bible at that time, and, and man, this was the this was the 1990s, late 1990s. What I'm going to semi-read, <laughs> semi-read, was in her Bible in 1 Samuel 20, verse 30. Now it's a footnote. The modern equipment is to SOB. When you read in the Living Bible, my grandma's Bible in the late in the late 1990, 1 Samuel 20, verse 30 said SOB. Let me tell you, grandma threw that Bible in the garbage can. My grandma never cussed. And she had the Holy Bible. She, you know, this is the Holy Bible. And I showed her the Living Bible to have SOB, son of a female dog. That's your modern Bible. Now, now let me tell you what the King James Bible says. Verse 1 Samuel 20, verse 30. Then Saul's anger was kindled against Jonathan. And he said unto him, Thou son of a perverse, rebellious woman. Living Bible says SOB. Do not I know that thou hast chosen the son of Jesse to thy own confusion, unto the confusion of thy mother's nakedness? Now, the Living Bible, they cleaned it up. They washed their verse with soap, but they put it at the footnote at the, at the bottom of the page. See, people like Stanley will show people who love the Lord the SOB and the Bible. Oh, we can't have that. 
So we washed the verse in soap, but we still kept the SOB at the end of the page. You still want it there, else you would have eliminated it completely. So in the modern Bibles, we have a woman farting and her father saying, what did you mean by that? Caleb was over 85 years old. I think he knew what a fart was, if I can say fart. And then you have Elijah mocking Baal and his prophets. And somewhere out of the blue, and I don't know if it's Hebrew or whatever it can be, but it, it's not in the proper text of the King James Bible. You've got a God going potty. You've got a God going to the toilet. You got a God that's relieving himself. You got a God going to a latrine. And you got a God going to a bathroom. Now, I can just imagine. All right. 1 Kings 18, 27. And Elijah. Oh, wait a minute, guys. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hey, that sounds good. Put that in there. You got to go to the bathroom. I, I, I don't know. But I just thought it was kind of weird that the rave of the modern Bibles how they got a woman getting off an ass, a donkey, but instead she's farting. And I, I assume somewhere maybe in the Hebrew, but I, I don't do Hebrew. I press one for English. That there's a God going potty. And then we got the Living Bible with the SOB. You can have your modern, your modern, yeah, I was going to say, it. you can have your modern garbage. You see, the King James Bible is written with the inspiration of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I say that men are the pen and the Holy Spirit is the ink. Written on a heavenly, holy typewriter in heaven. And these modern Bibles are written with the, 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 the sulfur and the flames of hell. Stepped aside from the King James Bible this morning. Looked at the junk, the junk of the modern Bibles.